Welcome, Mogul Lights. Welcome to our new segment of the Mogul <laughs> VG Life. It's me, your brewmaster, S, here, and we're bringing you a new segment for Vanguard-related content. And I'm here with our new Vanguard crew, the Endless Contradiction himself, and our casual professor. We're going to be our, your, we're going to, Mogul's going to get into v Vanguard tubing. You know, with new Vanguard comes new VG tubers. So, one thing we all have to talk about and we're going to celebrate is car vanguard 2.0 overdress guys how are you feeling what are your thoughts what we have so much to do so much to say what are you thinking uh great idea for the reboot bad idea timing timing what what about you our professor i have mixed thoughts on it I'm not a huge fan of it right now. See, I love everyone. See, this is the beauty of different opinions. I have nothing negative to say about it. I love it. Okay. I, I love every part of it. It's just so things. So for those of you who don't know, it, <clears throat> phone is hanging. So for those of you who don't know, Van, Car 5 Vanguard has gotten a new reboot. They have decided to take the table, move everything off the table, put that on the floor. That's there. That's trash. We'll deal with it later. Uh, with ancillary support sets. And then we're going to come with this new thing. So for those of you who play Vanguard for a while, things you should know. All your clans, they're gone. We are basically reduced the 26 clans or whatever of Vanguard down back to its five core nations. And all support will be given through nation packs. So United Sanctuary became Keter Sanctuary, Dragon Empire, the Dark State. Still Brand Dragon Day. Empire. Yes, yeah, something. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> why do you have to change if you're winning? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I love us for real. Uh, um, technically, the sixth one that doesn't really care, Bermuda Triangle Plus. Extra oh, Booster Clan is still uh, Extra Booster Clan. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, what is it called? Lyricum on Stereo because their whole island got sank by Giza's suicide bomb. So. They they ride around on a giant whale. I, I, I love it, which I was like, sounds something that Kingdom Hearts, but you know, I, I love it. I, I mean, you know, and that's apparently where all the extra booster clans we're talking about the Monster Strike will all go with that nation, which is fun. But I, I'm intrigued. I like it mainly because it solves all the problems. We get a ton of new mechanics. Grand Blue and Aqua Force become refugees and have to go live in plant land because that reasons. Because reasons. <laughs> because that, that, that makes zero sense. But okay. it makes zero sense. They're maybe, refugees. The zoo people took them in. It makes perfect sense. Look, <laughs> maybe, look, maybe they polluted the water. Like I'm shit. was the entire ocean. I'm <laughs> just saying, when your country is the entire ocean. Why do you need to be a refugee on an island full of animals and bugs? And plants. And plants. And, and, plants. and plants. Never forget the plants. Why? But they are. But they are. I mean, because reasons. Because reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's shore of the beach. <clears throat> so let's get into the tea. I know I have to be myself still, but so... Things that we get to look for in Overdrive. Uh, we no longer have clan support, we have nation support. So in theory, this is supposed to fix the concern that everyone had that you didn't have to look forward to a set because your clan wasn't getting supported in it. Now all nations will be supported in all sets. Now I have a weird opinion because I was like, I, I see that mindset, but I was very happy looking for reasons not to spend money. Because I was like, oh, I play two clans, the Ninja Dragons, both of them, and then random boosters over here now. And Amaruda, but she only got one wave of support, so it doesn't count. Um, uh, my thing is, I looked forward to not spending money. I was like, oh, good, I can save up for the next time my people come into rotation. I'm ready for it. So, but I, I, I guess I see what people, I, I guess people should look forward to some things. I guess it's cool to look forward to your now you can now you can look forward to every set because your nation will be supported in every set so how do you all feel about that professor all right i thought and uh, endless was going to go but you know what i'll start it 
Uh, look, clearly I'm the casual here. I enjoy just playing the game for fun. I like my, you know, cheap, inexpensive, find them in the garbage can decks. Uh, it doesn't change much for me because I was already not spending a huge amount every set. But at the same time, I don't... <sighs> I'm mixed on this one because, one, I finally get to try picking up Spike Brothers because I've never actually gotten to really buy them because usually they get released right about the time I'm investing in another deck. So <clears throat> I can cheaply pick them up try them out, have some fun with them because they're all just dark states now and I can kind of cheaply invest in all the decks that I want to play but never could because it's too expensive to buy all the decks. But at the same time, I'm calling it now. I've been waiting so long to make this joke. I cannot wait to see some Royal Paladin units come out in black leather and pretend that they're Shadow Paladin. <laughs> Yes. I cannot wait for that yes. because I will parade that around to the world and be like, I called it. This, this is what you were waiting for. The posers. <laughs> because the none of these clans, like, it just looks like Yu Gi Oh to me at this point. Because that's what they do for their core sets. It's just, you know, like four or five decks. And there you go. Have fun. And, oh, that's been interesting. And, looks like Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I'm doing a touch on that later. And let's, what were you, <clears throat> were you, I did see you, ah, uh, what were you about to say? Well, see, like I said before, it's a great idea because, like, we needed the reboot to happen because we're back at, all right, the broken state of Vanguard. There's no way to fix it. Hit that reboot. But not to give us an actual regionals prior kind of hinder the fact of players who's like, all right, I got this meta deck. I can't play this meta deck. Fuck. What's with this reboot now? Um, then you also understand the fact that, like, it's five nations. If you start investing into the nation, you're not going to get your money's worth anymore, just like with standard, but it was, you had some form of recovery. It's like, all right, I invested it earlier in OTT. Three months later, oh, this is great now. Then also the fact, like, how would it get implemented in premium? Well, uh, it does work fairly easily in premium because all the nation works with whatever clans are in that nation. So say, for instance, I've got some great gold paladin units that work in a shadow paladin deck from series i can just fold those into my luar deck or you know say some well no uh, aquaphor stuff that works with the grand blues no it's like okay imagine they make uh <clears throat> an overless card overlord-esque card in overdress but you can't implement that in tachi premium like oh yeah well, you have to find I mean, like, where it actually works. Yeah, I was going to say, well, the thing is, when you say implement, it, it would be different. Like if, like, if the card isn't good in Tachi Premium, but the card could be put in a Tachi Premium deck, it just might not be good in it. Right. Yeah, for example. But you still I'm, have the... Go, go for it. Go for it. I'll make my so point what, out. Like, you, you have the option of using it, whether it's a good option or a bad one, that doesn't really matter like aesthetically i none of these are like if we look at the new dragon empires it, they have pretty much taken the dragon dancers from kagura and narukami and now we dance around this egg mc thing this narukami bird uh and we now worship the sacred bird egg thing and then if you look at the new main character he has a dragon zord or no he has dragon gundam from gundam wing mark ii or something like from g like I mean, I, I feel like I, I saw it and I was like, oh, she didn't reuse like a choking. Like, like, oh, it's uh it's it's Saichi. Like, what 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 is this? Like it's Victor in a dragon sword. Like, I don't I don't really understand this. It's none of uh my Dragon Empire aesthetics, you know, but I'm looking forward to it. But if it's I mean, like, it can work, yeah. But like, it, it, it's an option I have in a, as a Muranuba as a Muranuba player in premium. I could put the Dragon Zord in there. 
Whether it works or not is completely different, but it's an option. So basically, overdress for premium. I just would you like to release waves and waves of zero dragons? Would you? Here you go. And uh, which brings me to my second point. All we we all get an over trigger now in premium. Like we all get an over trigger. Yeah. Remember, uh, as soon as we got hit with the over trigger, I emailed Bushy Rose. There and waiting for the response on this. Or Ultima. Yeah, if you, if you can stack the Ultima. And, stack and I gave him a situation where he might restrict Ultima and over trigger for being played. I, I mean, <laughs> so here's my thing about uh, premium. Uh, I, I, I question if you could live long enough. I, I question can any premium game live long enough where you would have three cards with some energies on. I just personally don't see it. Like I don't see it. Well, okay. This is what I was telling with Joe. Okay, Genesis, they can start roll your egg rate too. I mean you can you yeah, you can aggro at grade two, but it's about No getting... no no. You're while you're at grade two, they can stride into um I forgot the name of him. To superior stride, next turn you double G guard like they would do in Ezel. Smack their ultima GG. Well, see, okay, so that 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 pre uh one that goes into something we were saying before we started filming is well you have to win the dice roll, go first so you can hit the three before it while they hit the two, which yeah. is premium. Like, did you win the dice roll? Extend the hand. I, like <laughs> like that's my, my, my problem with premium to begin with. But it, it it implies that you'll A, not only will you do that, but you'll how do you just not kill them when they're on two and you stroke? Like, I, I, that's not enough. You, you can't kill them then. <laughs> then. Not only did you not kill them, they were able to live, fight back into a situation where you foolishly chose to double G card to what? Stomp the baby even harder with Ultima in the end? Like, it, it, Why would you even need a double G card at that point? Yeah, I was going to say, like, like how, did they, how are you not winning? You went to, it's going to flip up one G unit. Well, like, it was like, a GB2 or GB3, the ultimate stride. Ultimate, ultimate stride, stride is three. three face up in the G zone. So it's like. Okay, cool. So you stride once and then flip one G unit or G guard, and that's it. You're done. Yeah, oh, but yeah, like, how are they not dead if you stroke while they're at two? Like, that's, that's premium to me. Like, if I Hugo you and you know I'm summoning Thundercat, if you live through that, I've done something wrong. I, I've con- I'm convinced I've done something wrong. Like, I, like I, I have failed. I have failed. I, you should. I- I'm playing Twiddler Run in the Kazani loop deck because Damage Deny is the thing, and I don't want to. But, but Bushiro fixed Damage Deny by making a uh, Koyum oh, by well. saying, uh, "You must swing at me." <laughs> like you can't not swing. It's so disrespectful. But that's beside the point. Yes, we do. But every clan has an overdress trigger, and for those of you who don't know, overdress triggers are these nation-specific triggers that will do something if they're triggered now I, I don't think we have further rules on this but uh so far it's the trigger the trigger value is what 100,000 or 100 million 100 obscene? million yes obscene so yeah it's 100 million obscene of, of course and um the shield value is 50 but if it ever i guess triggers on the drive check it gets banished and you draw a card so you'll never have to have this miracle happen again yeah or is it just triggered period? Because if it's triggered period, then it's the fifth heal. No, it's only drive check. Oh, good. So, which once again, that's in itself scary because, you know, Angel Feather, like Gabriel using her overdress is like, no, no, no. Oh, look, it happened 100K here. Uh, then I'm gonna go put this back into the damage. I'm gonna go put that back to the bottom of my deck. We're just gonna try. Well, I mean, to yeah, you'll you'll still get the power off of that, actually. But yeah. it's Let you won't check. get the second effect because it's only for damage checks, which is what Gabriel does. Yeah, yeah. but hundred thousand, like a free hundred k going. Yeah, why the, why, why not? Put a hundred k over here, no sentinels. <laughs> yeah, you get yeah. the extra effect for drive checks. Yeah, so the thing is, we all have, uh, but that's the new mechanic in Overdrive, and uh, it, we get the thing. And w- <clears throat> one thing I'm looking forward to is just the concept of a ride deck, a.k.a. Bushy Road's attempt to actually listen to people. Uh, um, the, the great thing I do like about it is it's not, you cannot implement that into premium. Let's put that stamp it right now. I was they, like, 
that, that is an overdress only rule. We're very thankful because I was oh, like, okay. I'm not playing any of these other ones. I refuse. Yeah, who doesn't want to see a dog though with three critical, you know, swinging? Uh, you give me at least two cards and a uh, hundred million. What? Power. We'll never miss the anger blader. Never. What? We'll never. We'll never miss the Zahn. <gasps> Oh, yes. I mean, I always feel like discarding a card two rides is on is mm. not. Uh, yeah, but you'll never miss. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Premium has premium and sta- premium and V have way too many. Okay, I, perfect okay. ride targets. Yeah, I'd I'd love to just hit my blaster dart and you know automatically have a grade three right then and there. My bad. It's any drive. So damage triggered or is drive triggered? Yes. Oh, so the extra effect for drive check is a million. Two million. You. Ooh. Ooh. The two million is the stronger unit. Oh. Two hundred million. Because it gives it to two units. But that's only on a drive check. Let's see, look at overdress. It comes with so many things. But yeah. The, so the ride deck, I'm. I guess I, I'm looking forward to it, but I, I, I just love consistency. But someone pointed out, I think Vanguard Insider pointed out, like, think about how you're going to build your decks now, because now you don't have to run play sets of things because you just wanted to make sure you see it so you can ride into it. Now yeah. it's just going to be in your ride deck. And now it's like, no, 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 I, I, we can actually have more fun with deck building. And I was like, oh, look, Vanguard finally. And I think they said that there will be. Uh, they haven't come up with a ruling yet, but can you put your can you switch the cards of your ride deck between games? And it's like technically, I'm going to say no, only because they they already ruled that it's the same quantity of your card in your deck, and it's separately. So I think if you enter a regional and you write your ride deck list out, because I know it's going to be two sections: your ride deck list, your main deck. If you write that out, I think they won't let you switch at that point. Well, I, I mean, you'd have to. You, you, I, I'd hope. I would really hope because my fear is, I was like, did Yugi just get a, a three-card side deck? Is that? I mean, did Vanguard just get a three-card side deck? Because that's all I would do. It's like, oh, no, no, no. Here's my two that says you can't hit me. But that's not what you wrote game one. I know. I, I You're beating my face in, so now we're just going to sit on that for a minute. Like, have fun. Um, but, you know, in all, I am very like this. So we, we we get so much support. I am interested in the. Oh, so do you all believe that they'll still maintain clan identities? I guess we'll finish up by saying you. We started this by saying you. Some people liked it, and you, some people don't like it. So why don't you like it? I'm attached to my clan. I like <laughs> I like my shadow boys. I like their very specific aesthetic and play style. I also like my starvators because I hate life and people. And uh, yes, it looks like they're going to be partially reintroduced in at least the first set, but it doesn't look the same. And it's like, I like that clear delineation between royal paladins and shadow paladins, even if they are really just reskinned versions of each other. And it's not, it doesn't entertain me because there's people who only played for like certain stuff. And I'm just like, I get that it's easier to support, but you, if you're only supporting like Chakravarti, then you're only going to get people who want to play Chakravarti. And whatever the second one is, probably, uh, I'm, I'm going to break it to you, Steven. I don't think ninjas are going to get it for a while. I think they're going to stick I, with India, and I, I think they might go to, to the Middle East again. I, yeah, I know. And and so we'll get the uh, we'll get some Middle Eastern looking units. Might get some really interesting like Jin. That'd be kind of cool. Get some Ifriti and some Jin going on with that. Huh. But now I, that I you don't... mentioned that, Josh, um, maybe they're just like, all right. What's the one arch type that no one plays? Oh, Dragon Dancer. Oh, Jins. Oh, okay. Well, Jins weren't even an archetype or even a series. They were just like four cards, five cards that all had Jin in their name. Yeah. And had zero played 
kind of like synergy with each other. So maybe it's, that's what they're doing. Like, all right, we're fixing everything we fucked up in. And once again, Jin, we're still Narukami cards. So we're really not switching from that clan all that much, if that's the case. I just, yeah. I see it as it's going to look like set one of V standard all over again. And I'm not entertained by that. Eh, endless what about you Dude, what did you not you said it wasn't good what did you not like oh you're talking yeah, about we don't have the regionals before this right right like the fact that it came out during the quarantine times which expressed a lot of product and no one had the real chance of like in their format so if you had decks that you bought and you were investing into that reboot came and just like, all right, we're taking everything away from you. Um, now we have to wait X and X month for the two formats that you want to play while trying to invest into Overdress before another regional. And you're just sitting here like, well, I want to do this. What the fuck? I had these cards during this time. I should have been able to make some format profit. Uh, yeah, so for me, I, I, I mirror everyone's concern. I do think, I, I, we hope that uh, they carry the aesthetics of the clans in the nations, like, going forward. Like, that these clan identities won't be, revert, won't be lost. Uh, because right now, Dark States looks very... S- Spike Brothers mugged the Reggie, the Blade Wings from Dark Regular, and they're on stage. Thunderbirds are go for Dragon Empire. <laughs> United Sanctuary is all United Sanctuary ever was, and it's a Royal Paladins, and then they stole Bordred's horse. So, um, and <laughs> so I, I too am concerned about that, but I, I, I have no reason to believe it won't happen. So I can't say, so I have no reason, like, just as much as I can't say it will happen, the same reason why I can't say it won't. So, uh, you know, we, we wait and see, but you know, this is Mogo VG Life. We are the new VG tubers we're gonna be doing through. We'll probably have some videos, play each other, we'll have reactions. So make sure you, we, we will follow you on your Vanguard journey. Hope you follow us and we have a great time. So, you know, signing off, I'm your brew master here. Sip the tea. Hmm? Uh, you know, announce yourselves as we sign oh, off. Oh, uh, I was sorry. Good. Sorry, I didn't. I wasn't actually paying attention. My transitions will be better next time. Okay. Yeah. Um, have a great one. I'm the endless contradiction. Why that's the name? Oh, is it my turn now? I thought Andy yeah. was going to do that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm terrible yeah. at endings. <laughs> Casual professor, remember to do your homework, and I've got extracurriculars if you want them. Thank you, and good night.